Hello there, Polish Links here and welcome to Peach Island. Another browser game as I promised. Um, from date night O oh, date night date night O oh. well link in the description as always to the game and we just going to start now so let's go uh, yes oh my didn't prepare the water well we'll have to get it later crush thank god Finally, solid ground. Blast this dumb little island. So I have a good news and bad news. How could there possibly be good news? The radio is in dinky. In the dinky is broken and we have no gas to get back to shore. I guess that is mostly bad news. But I was going to add that there is no cell service here either. That's worse bad news than the original bad news. You're the one who forgot to fill the fuel tank. Well, why didn't you remind me? I did. Then maybe you should have reminded me twice. What was the good news? Hey, please don't find. Oh. Well, we can go with please don't find stuff. And they will say like something, no, we don't fight, and it will go on us. Or we can say, what's the good news? Let's go with, what's the good news? We're still on track for the retreat, this part of our scavenger hunt. Excuse me, that was a bad choice. We are supposed to come to the island anyway, see? The itinerary says this place is called Peach Island, and we are supposed to find some kind of time capsule that ASD plant planted here. Oh, cool! Isn't that cool? Yeah, let's explore. I wanted to take a look around too. Yeah, maybe there is a ranger station or something. Uh, I don't know, a helpline or something. I'm not sure, those trees look pretty thick. Vera, come on, don't be a downer. Yeah, uh, very right, I'm sure we can find something if we take a look around. Hey Taylor, did you miss the company memo? It had all of the retreat info, including our names. We wanted to mix it up and make everyone work with people from different departments. Another cool ASD team building initiative. I've actually only been at ASD for a week, but I did see the memo. Joining the IT department at a major corporation is pretty stressful, though. It totally slipped my mind. Let's see. Muriel, Vera, Esther. Okay, what? Okay, Vera, Muriel, which I don't know if it's true, but I kind of imagine this as a name for an old lady, actually. And Esther, right? Right, Vera. Vera is the engineering department. I think no one in IT recognized her name, but she might be a new hire too, or just shy. She keeps fidgeting and scanning the horizon. I wonder if she's scared. Muriel, the old lady is in the sales and marketing department. I've seen a few emails from her. She runs the Campus Sunshine Squad, which builds company morale. She probably plans some of the retreat activities, so I should be nice even if this particular activity is lame. And then there's Esther. ASD employs thousands of business analysis, analysts, and Esther is one of the best. For, to be honest, I don't know what a business analyst does. My boss thinks she's controlling, but effective. He sees her working late all the time. As far as the company goes, ASD Enterprises feels a little soulless, but at least they gave me an interview, and my job is better than no job. I guess it's still my first week, so I don't really fit in yet. I wasn't feeling the big department team building stuff, though. Okay. Is there no sounds or 
completely nothing. I was hoping that breaking into smaller groups would be easier. But now we are stranded, without food or gas. Here on... Beach Island. It's been hours and we haven't found anything. Yeah, I guess it's just a regular island. I'm sorry, Esther. I know it is my fault. We'll find some way back to the shortfall. Or they will send someone to look for us. Hey, it's okay. I'm just worried about my kid, it's all. <sighs> you have a kid. Struck my heart. Kidding. Uh, now I'm more sorry. Well, you got us into this. What do we go? What do you do to get out? Um, I was a Girl Scout way back when. Well, it's a little low tech, but I could try to do something with smoke signals while we still have sunlight. Sounds good. Give it a shot. Okay. What about you, Vera? <laughs> I'm pretty good with gadgets. If you don't mind, I'd love to spend some time fixing the radio. That's a great idea. And you, Taylor? My money is on smoke signals. I'll help with the radio. I don't know what about you. I don't know anything about smoke signals. I know a bit how to repair stuff. And what about you? Radio? I've got a tech background there. Do you mind a little backup? Uh, not at all. I hope you know your transistors from your capacitors. Uh huh. Ah, whatever. An extra set of hands is always good. So, uh, should we meet back here later, before sunset? Yeah, I'll let Muriel know. I bet she's going to scavenge the boat for supplies. Muriel, slow down! Let's head over to the beach. I think we pulled all the electronics so they'd be away from the water. It's called Beach Island. Isn't it all beach? <laughs> You're funny! Oh my god, that was so funny. I'm laughing right now, so bad, so much. The little dinghy is barely more than a canoe with a lawnmower engine. There was no place to dock it. We dragged all the important supplies, a blanket, the electronics and some tools onto shore when we crash landed. Miral had tried the radio first thing, but there was no power, no signal. Taylor, is there a Phillips head screwdriver in the toolbox? It's a little rusted out, but here you go. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really good at small talk. Me neither. That's okay. Me neither. That's kind of comforting, actually. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one like me. I think people feel that way all the time. I know I do. Battery. I'm just normal. I like stormy weather and carnivorous plants. And my mom's homemade pickles. <laughs> Those are some pretty weird things to like, Taylor. I know, right? What do you like? Calibrating things. Train rides. Big suspension bridges. Uh, I guess I'm normal too. Here, hold this. She handed me a bunch of screws. What do I do with this? Gosh, will you look at that? I have no idea what I'm doing. So, speaker, receiver, transmitter, see? These two bits are supposed to hook up here. That makes sense. But the power output is way too high for the amplifier here. This capacitor should really be... Uh, she's looking at me expectantly. Uh, oh. I don't remember what she said. Okay. Oh, we can go full screen. Well, it probably wouldn't work to be good. Smaller? Ah, <sighs> crap. Hey, I didn't go to the electrical engineering camp or whatever. Are there actually engineering camps for kids? Oh man, I totally would have gone to one. Everyone could get their own toolkit, and... She's really excited. That should be nicer. Vera seems way more shot than the other two. 
could totally build a better radio transmitter for Rome and number circuit board than this. Whoa, this is quite the round. Physical activities are for jerks and the chumps anyways. We could replace those with algebra trios. <sighs> well, or maybe combine the two. Wow. I think I wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to get through more algebra in any school anymore. Truly. There's enough. I wonder if she's going to win down anytime soon. Stupid Miss Jenkins with his stupid, stupid climbing drop. That's not even the most efficient way to build a burst body strength. Did you have the clumping rope? I never had this in school. Any school. Nope. And that is what's wrong with the American educational system today. Ah, well. I can't comment on this. I don't know how it works. Taylor? Yes? I don't think there is any way to get this round to work. Oh. I'm sorry. That's sweet of you, but it's not my fault. Eh. Uh, you should say it's your fault, probably, but never mind. It's weird, I don't think this radio ever worked. Not with this security. Is there anything you can do? Not without a soldering iron and some new parts. And I haven't seen anything else on the island with insights like this. Our cell phones are all too fancy for this little guy. Well, let's bring him along just in case we find something. Hmm. Him. Well, do you want to head back to the meeting spot? The others might be waiting already and... Jeez, you've been in the sun for a while now. You're gonna be burned to a crisp. Hey, let's head back. We're running clean. I hope the others are okay. The others show up before sunset. I don't know them well, but it's still a relief to see them. The food that Esther found is scarce, but filling. We decide to stay overnight in the inland caves that she scoped out. The dinghy was too big to drag through the woods, so we tied it to a strong-looking tree and covered it with palm fronds. The storm starts just after we got the fire going in the cave. Vera, are you okay? You look so scared. It's okay. It's, I've just never been in a storm like this. Oh, honey, come here. Thanks. What? Do you think we'll go home soon? We better. Taylor, didn't you say your family did both stuff at the staff orientation? I didn't think anyone paid attention at those. Yeah, tomorrow we'll see if there's any way to navigate us back home. Me? Let's rest up, don't worry. We've got this. Don't worry, we've got this. Let's rest up. Okay, this or this. Don't worry. My mom could read the weather better than any meteorologist. This storm will pass in no time. Yeah? Maybe it's extra terrifying because there's no light pollution or traffic sounds. City girl, huh? Muriel, what do you say? Maybe next time we do something tamer like camping. There will be an employee's review on the success of the company retreat later. Sivar, we're going to go home and take a survey. <laughs> I remember the first time I was in the country. It was only a couple years ago. One of the other engineers wanted to show me the stars. In retrospect, I think he had a bit of a crush on me. But anyway, I asked him why we couldn't just see the stars in town. Star just light, he said. Well... Kind of. But you can see stars very good in the city, actually. Maybe from a high place, but... If no, then it's, well, not easy. Imagine, if you were trying to drink water while drowning. Well, that's what stars are like in the city. Well, that's a good explanation. So we took his telescope and drove out west. It was the quietest I've ever heard. But he was right. It's like I'd never seen them for real before. I think it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. 
Well, hopefully the storm will clear up soon, and we'll get to see some more before we leave. I'd like that. Good night, everybody. Okay, so... Ah, whatever. It's night, you're talking about seeing the stars, and yet you are going to sleep, right? Huh? Ah, the stars stop, but... That's here. Vera? Muriel? Is not one there? Aster? At least the fire is okay. What should they do? Explore the cave. Search outside. Stay right here. Explore the cave. The tunnel looks safe. Yeah, Taylor, go in there. But, oh, that was a bad idea, Taylor. Okay. Okay, bad idea, Taylor. Should we bring a torch or something? Your cell phone isn't dead yet. That will be fine. Oh, bad idea, Taylor. I hate you, bad idea, Taylor. That's a bad idea, Polish links for you. Is anyone down here? <laughs> the slope is getting... Step, like I'm headed downhill. The ground is still smooth, so... Weird. You know what's weirder, Taylor? What? Bad idea, Taylor. Bad idea. There's a light down there. So maybe... We are a good idea, Taylor. Huh. There certainly is. Is anyone down there? Nothing. Maybe I should turn back? Maybe I should turn back? What was that? Oh. Vera. Thank God. What are you doing down here? What are you down doing down here? Wh what? I said, what are you doing down here? Oh, I got scared by the storm and... And ran down here, I think. Maybe I fell, I... I just don't remember, Taylor. Are you okay? Yeah, I feel... Fine. I must have found a strange place for... I feel strange about it. Oh... Um. Let's go check it out. Okay, will you hold hands with me while we go? Ooh, now that's surprising. Let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Her hand is soft and cool to the touch. Her fingers fold around mine. She smiles when I squeeze her palm. Ever since I was young, I've been scared of loud noises. But I feel safe around you, T. T? Taylor! It's not T! <laughs> the two of us, T and V, TV, oh my. <laughs> that was lame. Wouldn't it be creepy if this were just a reality show? Like cameras mounted everywhere, recording our every move. Oh, I hate it. But maybe it's worse. Worse? How? Maybe just a social experiment so the executives back at ASD can study a cross-section of their employees. Spooky! Was that a little... Too real? Yeah, yeah it was. Is this cave changing at all? Like the walls? Um... Holy... T. What is this place? I don't know, Vera. But bad idea Taylor thinks we should try pressing that big button over there. Who? Nothing. No one. Well, bad idea Vera is definitely going to push this button. Do it. Hello? We have to go back. We have to leave this place. Oh my god, yes, okay. Guess what I found? No, guess what I found? Welcome back, everyone. First, are we all accounted for and safe? I found a robot! You found a robot? Oh, okay, wait, my neck robot is pretty significant. Yeah. What do we do? We end the episode? No, I, because I don't know how long this game is at all. I think we need to leave. I think Taylor's right. I found a nautical map in the weird place where I was. 
Basically, light soon, I think we can get to safety. So you probably was at that place as well. However, you did not try to push the button. What do you all think? I agree. I found everything, but it's time to go home. You real? Hi. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I want to explore some more, but I guess there is nothing to be done. At least we will have a cool story to that, right? Right. Then it's settled. Let's get some fresh water and head for the boat. We paddled for hours and finally made it back to the retreat. I tried to keep up with the others, but Esther was promoted up and returned almost none of my emails. Crap. Muriel and Vera disappeared after that. I heard Muriel went to work for ASD's main competitor, Regent Technologies. I guess it was just a strange thing that happened once. Uh, is there any other ending or something like that? Uh, because I, I feel I feel incomplete about after this. I need to check it. Uh, uh, oh, it. I need to check if there's any other ending. But pleasant, pleasant game, pleasant game. Welcome to Peach Island. I'm sure there's some, something more. Alright, as I said in the very beginning, link to the game in the description, it's free, and you can play it by yourself as well, and well, maybe you can get other endings, if there are any, I don't know, I didn't read the description actually, I will do this later, and well, if there are other endings, I will play this later, just for myself, probably. Alright, hope you enjoyed Welcome uh, no it's not welcome to Hope you enjoyed Beach Island One Guy Free Girls and see you in the next game coming soon tomorrow the new game also from each.io also a web game so see you then bye